everyone. This morning I went for my jog and I was able to see the sunrise. It was a beautiful thing to see that take place. And with that, I got to thinking about the flowers, specifically the sunflower. And the fact that a sunflower will always seek the sun, the S-U-N sun. I thought that was very powerful, especially when I think about this past Sunday. This past Sunday, I preached on the great story of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1. She was not able to have children, and so she prayed earnestly and fervently to God, and God provided her with a son, Samuel, which means God hears. And what she did is she dedicated that child to the Lord. She dedicated him to be a Nazarite, which means she gave him to the Lord for ministry. And here's what's amazing. That story is a picture of the gospel. It's the good news that God sent his son and his son came to earth and lived a perfect life. He too was a Nazarite and he became the ultimate high priest. He went to the cross, he died in our place for our sins, and he rose from the grave. And with that powerful truth, I want to encourage you to seek the Son, the S-O-N, to seek the Son. In fact, great scripture, 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 and 12 says this, and this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son does not have life. And this is the truth because Scripture tells us in Romans 3.23 that all have fallen short. We all sin. We fall away. We do not meet God's glory. But the good news is this. Romans 5.8 says that this is God's love for us, that he, while we were still sinners, God sent his son Jesus to die for us. And so I want to encourage you with some great scripture. Romans 10 verse 9 is great, great scripture. And here's what it says. It says this, it says this powerful truth that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And just a few verses later in verse 13, he says this, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And that's my prayer for you, that you will seek the Lord. You will seek the Son. And if you need to pray that prayer, if you need to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you right now to bow your heads. And you can pray something like this. Lord Jesus, thank you that with your precious blood, you bought my salvation. Lord, right now with all of my heart, I seek you like a little child. Lord, I turn from my wicked ways. I turn from my sins. I trust you to forever save me. Lord, by your grace, change me. And Lord Jesus, begin right now to make me the person that you've called me to be. I pray that you say that prayer. And if you have, if you've received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, then let us know. Contact us. We want to pray for you because we love you deeply. And no matter where you're at in your spiritual walk, I want to encourage you to be like a sunflower, to seek the sun in all that you do. I love each and every one of you, and I hope you have a great day.